So here I'd like to show you a little bit about the shaders that come with Fair 2D. So first things first, there's uh, three different variants that, that come with it. There's the uh, unlit, the vertex lit, and the pixel lit. And within that, there's a couple of sub variations. Um, there's a, a lot of different ones, but the core of it is um, you've got an opaque one, a transparent one, and you've got a wavy one. Um, the Opaque ones are usually really good for the fill. Uh, you get performance benefits for using opaque materials for fill. The transparent and wavy ones can be really good for the edge. And I'll show you the wavy one here. Uh, you can see it just kind of, um, this is a bit of a subtle effect, but it just waves a little bit back and forth. Um, you can configure that a little bit, like have it wave along different axes or wave faster or larger, or stuff like that. This is really great for grass or underwater sort of effects. Um, but a, just a, a small detail to add to your scene. Um, the other ones that we have are the um, vertex lit. I'll show you the vertex lit ones next. And so these are pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, this is the transparent one. And for the fill, I'll do the opaque one. It's fair to do train vertex lit. And textured. So uh, you can see here, this is actually a pretty cool looking scene. The vertex lit stuff actually looks really good. Um, there's not much of a difference between the pixel lit and the vertex lit, so long as you have your settings right. However, the vertex lit ones are going to give you some pretty good performance, especially on mobile. Since lighting is calculated per vertex rather than per pixel, uh, you can save yourself a lot of time uh, instead of that way you don't calculate lighting on every single pixel individually. That can be a real killer on mobile, especially when uh, fill rates are high and you've got a lot of transparent materials in your scene. So uh, the trick with doing vertex lit materials is that um, you have to make sure that you have enough vertices on them. So you'll notice here that I've got a bunch of extra verts in here. And so if you've seen the other videos, you may know what I'm doing. Um, but this is the interior grid verts checkbox. Um, without it, you're going to get no verts in the middle. And so you're not going to have room for lighting data there. So you can see like down in this corner here, um, the lighting along the edge doesn't agree with the lighting along the fill. So if you turn on interior grid verts, you're going to see uh, much more continuous lighting throughout. So if you're using vertex lighting, uh, definitely go ahead and play around with the interior grid verts and make sure that you've got the nice trade-off between um, good looking lighting and uh, not too many vertices on your environment. So you can see like uh, on the edges here, like this is not um, not very dense, like I can actually space it out quite a bit on these edges. Um, and even in the background, it's much, much further out even then. So you can uh, play with uh, information density in areas where it's more or less important. The other ones that we've got are the per pixel ones. And these are like, you're, you're not going to notice terribly much difference. Uh, so if we switch to, this is the fill, um, pixel it. Uh, and there's a lot more sub variations in here, uh, just to give you some extra choices for performance. Pixel it, and this is a transparent. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, like it doesn't actually look that much different. The formulas are all the same. Um, you're not going to actually need the interior grid verts. Like you can see that behaved exactly the same with it on and off um, because it's done per pixel. So um, looks great. It looks just as fine. Um, if you're on PC, this might be a little bit easier to, to work with since you don't need the verts and you don't need to worry about thinking about that. Um, but for mobile, you probably want to stay away from these. Um, and I'd just like to point out um, with the lights, um, let's pick one right here. Yeah, so um, because this is designed for two-dimensional environments, um, you'll notice that um, as I put it through here, like it doesn't actually uh, go black when it's behind the terrain. This is because I actually discard normals when I'm doing lighting calculations. And this makes the calculation slightly faster, but it also just makes it look a little bit more appropriate. Uh, in two dimensions, having a normal doesn't actually make a ton of sense. Um, if you think about it, that might make sense. But um, yeah, so I just discard normals for, for these to make the calculations a little bit faster. So that's kind of the basics of doing lighting, and that's kind of what the shaders are in Fair2D. Uh, if you need 
more of them or or anything like that, just let me know. Um, there's a couple of other things that you can do. Uh, like I, I haven't talked about vertex blending, but that is something that you can do with Fair 2D. I don't include the shaders for that, but with most vertex painting packages, you should be able to find uh, blending shaders that'll work fine. So yeah, uh, give it a try, see what you can come up with, and uh, make your stuff look good. Thanks. <laughs>